electrostatic pretest practice problem number three. What is the electric force between a glass ball that has a positive 2.5 micro coulomb of charge in a rubber ball that has negative 5 micro coulomb of charge when they are separated by a distance of 5 centimeters. So let's collect all this data in our data table to check for um, units and check if you have everything we need to plug in our formula. So the is asking for the force between two charges. One, let's label key Q1, is 2.5. Now, micro means times 10 to the minus 6. So that will be times 10 to the minus 6 is a prefix. Micro is a prefix. And the Q2 is 5 times 10 to the minus 6 Coulomb. Notice that I did not, you, I'm not using the plus and minus sign in my formula, uh, in my data table. Um, these will be relevant for other situations, but not to find the magnitude of electric force. What else we have? We have um, the distance. We have five centimeters. And uh, the formula that we are using is K, Q1, Q2 over R2. So K is nine times 10 to the nine Newton meter square per Coulomb square. Now I'm going to check my units. Hmm, I noticed this one does not align with what we have for our Coulomb constant. So we need to convert. So our five centimeters, to convert centimeter, centimeter to meter, you divide by 100. So 0 0.05, 0 0.05 meter. Okay, so now we can calculate everything. K is 9 times 10 to the 9. Q1 is 2.5 times 10 to the minus 6. Q2 is 5 times 10 to the minus 6. All this divided by 0 0.05 squared. Now, our calculator here is 9 EE9 times, there is a multiplication here, times 2.5 EE negative 6 times 5 EE negative 6 equal. Now, the numerator is this. We are going to divide by, open parenthesis because you have something square, 0 0.05 square equal. So the force is 45 newtons. And this is the final answer. Electrostatic pretest problem number four. Three particles are placed in line the left particle has a charge of positive 5.5 microcoulomb. The middle one has a charge of positive 1.9 microcoulomb. And the right one has a charge of negative 4.5 microcoulomb. The distance, be the distance between charges are shown below. And find the net force on the middle particle. So first you have to work with a pair of two charges at a time. So since our focus is on the middle particle, so the force between this charge and this charge is a repulsion type of force because both charges are positive. 
So now we have a force acting on this middle charge F. Now, we have also a force between the middle charge and the charge on the right. But since they are oppositely ch oppos opposite charge, but since they are opposite charge, one positive, one negative, so we are going to uh, draw a force of attraction between them. Now, because you have two forces here, there would be a good idea to label those charges, A, B, and C. So this force, the force of repulsion between A and B, we are gonna call FAB. The force of attraction between BC, this will be BC. So the net force will be the sum of those two forces acting on the middle charge, FAB, plus FBC. We are using a electrostatic force, which is from Coulomb's law, which is the same thing. F is K, Q1, Q2, over the distance between both charges square. So that's the form, the product of both charges uh, times Coulomb's constant divided by the distance between them is square. So what we are gonna do now, we are going to calculate our F, A, B. So the formula that we are using is this, so is nine times 10 to the nine. That's the value of Coulomb's constant times Q1 is five times 5.5 microcoulomb, so this mu is times 10 to the minus six, is a prefix that replace this power of 10, negative six power of 10. So times 10 to the minus six times, the second charge is 1.9 times 10 to the minus six coulomb. All this, divided by the distance between them, but we need to convert from centimeter to meter. So you can use your calculator and convert. 3.2 divided by 100 is 0 0.032 square. So F A B is equal to, so let's, um, plug everything in the calculator. So nine, here is nine EE e nine times 5.5 EE e negative six times 1.9 EE e negative six. So the product of all those three numbers is this. Now, divide by, open parenthesis, 0 0.032, close, square, equal. So, this force, AB, is equal to 91.84 Newton. So, that's our partial result. We need to find the second force. So F B C is nine times ten to the nine. B is one point nine times ten to the minus six times C is four point five times ten to the minus six. Notice that I'm not using the negative number in this formula. The sign, the only purpose of the sign is to determine the direction of the force between those charges. Since this is negative, this is positive, so there will be a force of attraction between both charges.
divided by the distance, 4.5 in centimeter, divided by 100, that's how you convert, is 0 0.045 square. 9, EE9, times 1.9, EE, negative 6, times 4.5, EE, negative 6, divided by 0 0.045 square. So, this is 38 newtons. Now, we are going to finally add, so our F net, right here, our F net is FAB plus FBC, which is 91.84 plus 38. So our F net is 38 plus 91.84, so is 129.84. You could round to 130, that should be fine. Don't forget to write the units, newtons.